Okay. Well, as promised earlier to a couple, uh, I decided to continue my video a little part two for today. It's not going to be quite as long, but uh, um, I'm going to kind of showcase what I do with uh, my greenhouse. I paid uh, 179 for this through, unfortunately, Walmart.com, but and uh, the total overall size is uh, 10 by 20 and uh, seven feet high. Frame is stainless steel, and um, it took about probably four hours total to put together. Um, this, what I like about this one is. A, you got kind of like the car seat clamps up there to keep the window up, which makes it super easy. And uh, on each side, we have four windows for venting if needed. And there is a door on each side. Um, uh, so it's a total of eight windows. We can really do some nice stuff in there. Uh, this morning when I made my first video, it was probably about 35 degrees out and cold. Um, we just got done doing a few errands and that and came back freaking was like 80 degrees when i came in there so uh, what we're doing with it um, i'll kind of give you a little tour mini all uh, right here comes my youngling and my super sexy wife here yummy and uh this is uh a little mini tour of the greenhouse uh as messy as it is because uh to be honest uh yeah, we're still uh, getting this thing, and we'll probably see a few plants that have seen better days, but we did jump the gun. And uh, one thing we decided to do is try a little experimenting uh, raised bed inside, and this is going to be for mushrooms only. So basically what I did is a couple pounds of, uh, or a couple bags of, uh, unscented or unbleached mulch or whatever you want to call it, uncolorized and uh four uh one by fives and uh then we also got these pegs here which is the raised garden starter kit where you can connect a bunch of different ones and they pound right into the ground so uh total cost for this bed with the mulch was uh under 30 bucks um to give you a kind of hint the size right here on this one this is a four foot wide bed you got two eight foot or two six foot tables over here and um uh mini greenhouse right frame in here that we uh repurposed from uh another one that uh after about five years the uh cover went to hay so to seed so we're using that for the fodder for the chickens and uh it's on one side, um, and mind you too, on the standard uh, size table. And then we have room for like a circular card table on this side. And then over on this side, I mean for the space, you are looking at three six-foot tables. So, I mean, it is true on my size like advertised. Uh, Junior, say hi. Hi. And, uh... So we're starting to get some stuff uh, prepared right here. Um, like I said, um, I was about 35 degrees this morning and uh, when I did the first video. And it shot up to about 80 degrees by about 2 o'clock in there. So yeah, it works fine. Trust me. Um, so that's about what it is. Uh, like I said, I'm... Uh, um, this will be probably a permanent structure with the frame, and we'll just take down the uh, covering. You know, if, if should something happen to the covering, it can be replaced, I think, for like 80 bucks online or so. So, is it a pain? Yeah, but I mean, um, uh, if it can accelerate the crops, so much the better. So, like, um, uh, take a look at the video. I'm um, a uh, quick uh, thing. Just let me know what you think of it. Uh, I know someone, one of my friends asked me, you know, um, uh, how does it work? Uh, hope this explained it a little bit better to you. Um, uh, so, all right. Um, when fully going at a three inch plant, so this would probably be able to easily start 400 to 500 plants at one time in here. So, and as you can see, there's ample, ample room for uh, work in here. Um, like I said, those are six foot tables on each side. You see in 
three feet into the bed them. So, hey, you got a good um, uh, yard working in there in the aisle. Go. Three, four people could easily um, uh, accommodate um, working here at once if needed. So, or if you decide to sell plants or something, or if you want to do that in the future or whatever, that would probably work good. So it'd actually be pretty awesome for that. So, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed it, and everybody have a good day.